through the media. A daily diet of sex and violence and social dysfunction and unrealizable fantasy. And that's only when you talk. So she's going to fight that. That's what she said at that college graduation years ago. A few people realize that Hillary Clinton has a long record of objecting to free speech. When she was a senator, she sponsored a law that would impose criminal penalties on anyone caught selling a minor a violent video game. That law never That's passed. That's crazy. That's how America survived. That's how unintouched she is. Every minor I know now spends a huge amount of time playing video games that are much more violent. Reason Magazine editor Matt Welch has long been upset about Hillary's hostility to free speech. I, I mean, of all my complaints about her, that's not one that comes up. It's strange how uh, Hillary Clinton, quite unlike Tipper Gore, has never been tarred with this sort of brush as being a longtime foe of the First Amendment and free speech. Al yes. Gore's wife at the time was trying to ban record lyrics, rap lyrics. Right. She held this, uh, you know, famous hearings in Capitol Hill in the 1980s about talking about the filthy 15 songs. Hillary Clinton was working hand in hand with Tipper Gore during that process and beyond. But Hillary Clinton has had much more power. And she has gone against not just pop music, uh, but also the internet, also violent video games, uh, all kinds of ways that she has, it's been a consistent theme of her career, stretching back more than 25 years. In her book, It Takes a Village, she praised Bill Bennett. Not many Democrats are pay praising former drug czar, former sort of values chieftain Bill Bennett, but she praised him because he helped divest uh, Time Warner from Interscope Records. Back in the day, Interscope Records, what, put the, a lot of gangster rap, which she, of course, talked about in quotation marks, because gangster rap is, is, is filthy and wrong and we can't have that. So she combines the worst of both of our dominant political tendencies when she talks about the media. She supported this Telecommunications Act, which would have jailed people for pornography. Yes, two years. People could have gone, Jeff, you are a parent of a kid, and that kid happens to access pornography and be a teenager. You could go to jail, That's according to the Communications Decency Act. That was struck down, as were a bunch, by the... How come no one brings that up? It astonishes me that we had, when I was growing up, these big campaigns against both sex and violent video games, and now that they're everywhere, because with the Internet, you can't stop it. The social consequences are zero. Uh -huh. Rape is down, violence is down. And people just move on to the next thing. Nobody points because out all she's never wrong. been in touch. Things were wrong. Yes, and not only that, they were wrong about the evidence. She kept saying, as First Lady, and in her books and in her speeches, that the evidence is in. We know that the kids are becoming more violent. You know, they, she, she, she's a liar. As like programmable little VCRs. You know, they just absorb the content and then they go around and then they commit acts of violence where they do terrible things. This is wrong, actually. Kids aren't getting more violent. They're getting much less violent over the last 20 years, and she hasn't adjusted or updated her rap at all. Because she's un she don't, not in touch at all. Free speech. Here's Hillary talking about internet censorship with one of her former employees who happens now to host the morning show on ABC News. She said, we have to fight ISIS on the internet. We're going to need help from Facebook and from YouTube and from Twitter. They're going to have to help us take down these uh, announcements and these appeals as quickly as they get up. So Facebook is going to police the internet and take down anything that might be an ISIS See, appeal? See, that's crazy. It's like just like a Nazi would do. deny them online space, and this is complicated. You're going to hear all of the usual complaints. You know, freedom of speech. Yeah, you're going to take that. Freedom of speech, etc. Like it's this icky thing. Yeah. She said that in the same weekend, within like 24 hours, of Donald Trump making a similar point, saying that we have to shut down parts of the internet. The media only paid attention to Trump's statements yeah, because she's, and not to Hillary's. Oh. We have a culture right now of free speech in this country that is under attack. And when you have a government in the name of national security in particular, because she's shifted from mass entertainment now, it's now all gone into uh, Facebook, YouTube, and, and such like. You know, she's after the Benghazi situation, she blamed that whole thing on a filmmaker in Cerritos. An administration has the most power to infringe upon free speech in areas of national security. So her next theater of war on free speech is precisely the one where she has the most legal latitude. So there we should be very, very worried on issues like encryption, on the open internet. See, we're screwed, man. People wake up. Where she can have a drastic impact on the future of free speech in this country. And the way she puts it, we must not allow this bad thing. People agree with that. 
Well, sure. I mean, if you make because you're to lying to them. make you safer, it makes sense. It doesn't make us safer. She wants people to go off of Facebook. I'm married to an investigator. The best place for investigators to find bad guys it's Facebook. is on Facebook because they leave trash. See, so she's she's un in touch. Place. She wants the government to be in charge of encryption, that there's a, a magical back door that we can get into all devices. As soon as government, which is not very competent, John, uh, has a one thing, that one thing is going to come under attack by Chinese hackers and God knows who else. So her actual uh, 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 measures that she wants to adopt in the name of infringement free speech and keep keeping us safe will not make us safer in addition to making us less free thank you man welch reason magazine coming up some good things about why are you here supporting hillary because she is but what the world needs the world yeah, needs you're an idiot dude the world needs love peace and love but when it comes to america's role in the world Hillary Clinton is anything but mm -hmm. peace and love. She's more hawkish than any Democrat in years. Donald Trump's right when he says she's big and voting yes for war. Crooked Hillary said, oh, Donald Trump, his finger on the button. I'm the one that didn't want to go into Iraq, folks. And she's the one that stupidly raised her hand to go into Iraq and destabilize the entire Middle East. Ben Friedman's a national defense specialist for the Cato Institute. She raises her hand and says, let's go to war. Yeah, she voted for the war in Iraq, and she subsequently said after the war became very unpopular that it was a mistake. But it's not evident that she's learned much from that mistake because she was for the overthrow of Gaddafi, which has been a disaster, not just for U.S. interests, but for Libya. And she was for arming the rebels in Syria and for a bunch of other... For the Bosnian War, the Kosovo War, the War of Afghanistan, Iraq, the intervention in Libya, Syria, Yemen, Somalia. Yeah, she's a very consistent hawk, so if you like war, she's a great candidate for you. And uh, she's, it's maybe fair to huh. say, that, uh, as she did, that Trump's judgment on foreign policy is questionable, but her record on foreign policy is questionable. We've seen her in action for a long time now, and she's been for just about every conflict, including some we didn't have. She should run as a hawkish Republican. Well, she is, in a sense. It's interesting, running against Trump, she's getting support from the neoconservatives, who tend to agree about all these wars, who are mad about uh, Trump not being for them, so she's getting a lot of that support already. She's also favored a bunch of interventions we didn't have, sometimes because Obama said no. She pushed for a no-fly zone in Syria. What's wrong with a no-fly zone? Well, a lot of the damage... Sounds good. Yeah, the damage is largely being done by people on the ground, so they're sort of committing to do something without really uh, committing force to, to make it happen. They're getting themselves involved without really fixing the problem. She wanted U.S. troops in Darfur, wanted 40,000 troops to go to Afghanistan, wanted to keep more troops in Iraq, wanted to send the aircraft carrier to North Korea. The one thing she was against as a senator was the surge in Iraq, but now she's reversed herself on that apparently and said that was a mistake, so the one little pelvic moment she has, she's renounced. She flips off and she says she wants U.S. boots on the ground in Syria, now only special ops. She supported the Cuban embargo, now she says no. She supported Assad, called him a reformer. Now he can't stay in power. Yeah, I mean, she's changed her mind about that. And to me, that's not necessarily a problem. I want her to change her mind about war things. So one example of Clinton foreign policy, or in this case, Clinton Obama foreign policy, is what happened in Libya after Gaddafi attacked his own people, Obama and Hillary, launched missile strikes against him. Gaddafi escaped, but was killed soon after, and on that day, the president said this. Today we can definitively say that the Gaddafi regime has come to an end. We came, we saw, we died. <laughs> that was her comment when she may not have realized she was on camera, but it's sort of creepy, he died. <laughs> and then there was much more bloodshed afterward. He was tortured to death, uh, really assaulted in a horrible way, which, no matter what you think of Gaddafi, he ought to die in a lawful way if he's going to be executed. Huh. Uh, She's an evil! Murdered by a mob. So yeah, it's creepy and it's creepy uh, not to care about the fate of Libya. The ten things went well. Huh. The country sort of collapsed into chaos, which isn't good for humanitarianism or... Uh, because really she's evil. I'm cutting this one short, guys.